have more and more checklists, more and more things are we're asked to count. Um, so how many times did so-and-so say a word today? And we make that count. But the things that we can count may not always count in working with children. It's a lot of things that can't be counted that are far more important. What's deep and simple in all of those settings is the work that they're doing with children, just the space between an adult and a child. The Simple Interactions tool is a one-page learning tool. Uh, it's not meant to be an evaluation. It's not meant to give you a score, uh, but it's a descriptive learning tool about what interactions look like. Um, teachers far too often uh, do not have the opportunity to deeply reflect on what it is that they do. And these tools help them to do that. So we're able to slow down their day a bit and help them to see those moments, to reflect on them, to notice things about their practice and to wonder what their practice could be if they were more intentional about certain aspects of it. And I've noticed that I've tried to do a lot of connection, which is, you know, making sure that myself and the student are on the same page. So it's completely based in the teacher's practice. It's not us coming in and saying, here's what you should be doing. It's us reflecting back and saying, look at the good work you are doing. With simple interactions, I'm able to build upon it. So even though I'm having a conversation with them, I learn to build upon our conversation and go deeper. Simple Interactions is for any adult who happens to be working with children. If you're working with a baby or you're working with a teen in a youth center, you're interacting in very developmental ways. These are the four dimensions of developmental interactions. The first is connection. And that means that we are mutually in tune, that our affect is matched. So maybe I am very calm and you as the adult are also very calm. We're in the, the engagement together. The second is reciprocity. How are they balancing those roles of engagement? Is that that serve and return where we can't quite tell who's in control of the interaction, but it's perfectly reciprocal. The third is inclusion. And by inclusion, we mean a sense of belonging for every child, regardless of any reason why a child could be excluded. And the last is opportunity to grow. Those incremental challenges and supports that adults give to children to help them to grow. The children, they have answers, they have opinions, they have thoughts. So instead of teaching at them, I give them a chance to teach us as well. I would tell other educators just not to be so hard on yourself because you think that you're not doing a good job and that sometimes the interactions that you have aren't the most positive, but they really are because kids learn from every interaction that you have with them.